Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math lesson today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. We're going to write as this, this uh, sum and difference of integrals as a single integral in the form, the integral from some number to some other number of f of x dx. So notice here we have basically the sum and difference of three separate integrals with all different bounds. However, they are all just the integral of f of x dx. So what we're essentially doing here is using the limit properties from my Calculus 2 study guide. There's a link in the description if you want to check that out. But those properties can be used to rearrange definite integrals with different bounds that are the integral of the same function. So obviously, since we have the, function, the integral of f of x three times, the only difference between these is their bounds. So what we're going to do is use those definite integral properties to combine them into one single, single integral. So first of all, let's look at these first two integrals here. The integral of f of x dx from negative 2 to 2, and the integral of f of x dx from 2 to 5. So one of those limit properties on my study guide says that if we have these two integrals being added together, where the upper bound of one of those integrals is the same as the lower bound of the other integral, we can combine those into one single integral, where the lower bound is the lower bound of this first one, and then the upper bound is the upper bound of this second one. So we can rewrite these as the integral from negative 2 to 5 of f of x dx. And that's basically just because this integral here goes from negative 2 to 2, this one goes from 2 to 5, the sum of those two things is just going to go all the way from negative 2 to positive 5, which is exactly what we have here. So then we still don't want to forget about this other integral we have over here. So now notice with this, to combine these into one single integral, we can't use that same property as we did uh, to combine these two integrals because they both have the same lower bound and different upper bound. So it doesn't quite work. But what we can do is rewrite one of these integrals in a way that will flip the upper bound and the lower bound so that we can re reuse that same property again. So the property that we're going to use here basically says that if we make an integral negative, so this one's already negative, making it negative will just make it positive, we can flip the bounds. So we're not going to touch this left integral quite yet. But if we make this integral negative, which like I said, having a negative and a negative, those negatives are going to cancel out in a second, we can flip the bounds on them. So the negative 2 will be the upper bound, the negative 1 will be the lower bound. And now, like I said, this negative, negative will cancel out, so we can just make that into a positive. And now we can reuse that same property that we did before because you see the lower bound, I'm sorry, the upper bound of this one is the same as the lower bound of this one. So if we keep our, basically this integral here is taking the area under this function f of x from negative 1 to negative 2. And then this one is taking the area from negative 2 to 5. So the whole thing is just going to go from negative 1 to 5. So now you can see we've got this in the exact form that they said. They wanted it in the form just an integral from some number to some number of f of x dx, which is exactly what we have here. The integral from negative 1 to 5 of f of x dx. And like I said, these properties are all on my Calculus 2 study guide. There's a link in the description so you can go check that out for yourself. And hopefully you find, found this helpful. Thank you and see you next time.